What's up guys, Jack here, and welcome to a tutorial on how to create your own virtual machine. Um, and basically the inspiration for this video is actually from an internship I did over the summer, um, where I worked a lot with uh, Linux and virtual machines and, uh, you know, creating and monitoring servers. So that's kind of where this came from. Um, for those who don't know what a virtual machine is, think of it basically as a computer on a computer. Um, so basically you could have a... Uh, Windows uh, computer like I have now, but if I open up this program here, uh, which is my virtual machine player, I can start this virtual machine, um, and if I click play virtual machine, it'll open up a Linux uh, computer, basically. The, a virtual machine basically just shares hardware with what's in your computer, um, so when you dedicate RAM and dedicate hard drive space to it, it's just basically borrowing some hard drive space and RAM from your own PC. Alright, so let's power that off there. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's basically what a virtual machine is in a nutshell. Um, it's really cool for, you know, just using other operating, operating systems on the same thing. Say you want to have um, some sort of program that's only made for Mac um, and you have a Windows PC, you can create a Mac virtual machine to use that program on your Windows PC. Um, so it's just cool to like be able to combine those uh, like different characteristics of operating systems and stuff. So um, that's mainly what a virtual machine is used for. You can also use it to create you know testing environments and stuff like that. What we're gonna do first is we're actually going to install this program here called VMware Workstation 12 Player, um, and you do that by going to your web browser and typing in uh, VMware Workstation Player 12, um, and it should be the first link. I think if you type that in, yeah, VMware Workstation. Workstation 12 player download um, and it's the first link here um, and it'll take you this to this page and all you have to do now is um, assuming you're on Windows you click this if you're using a, Lin a Linux system you use this um, and you just you just download your VMware workstation player uh, and I'm, I'm, so I'm assuming if you're um, <laughs> wanting to install a virtual machine you're competent enough to be able to go through the setup process all right so once we have VMware workstation player all set up um, we're actually gonna want to uh, open it up here, um, and once this comes up, uh, it's going to look just like this, except you won't have this machine here, uh, this tab. This is my virtual machine that I set up. Alright, so once we're in here, we're going to click Create New Virtual Machine, and it's going to bring us up to this window, uh, and it's going to ask you for something called a ISO file, or an installer disk image file. Um, and basically what that is, is just your operating system, um, and, and it's, it has this .iso attachment. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into the internet and figure out whatever operating system you want to install and uh, download the ISO for it. Today I'm using this Ubuntu Linux uh, ISO and all I did was type in Ubuntu Linux ISO and I think I just clicked on this link here and click download and that's pretty pretty much it. If you want to download something like Windows, uh, you can go to the Windows page. That costs money obviously uh, to download a, a Windows like you're gonna have to get a Windows license key and whatnot. Uh, if you want to do Mac OS X, you can also do that. Um, I'm just gonna do Linux because it's free and Linux is cool. Um, so I downloaded this, um, and it is in my downloads folder right here. Uh, this Ubuntu Linux ISO file, and all I'm gonna do is come over here, click on this little tab, click Browse, and then go into my downloads folder, and then here's the ISO right here, and I'm just gonna open it. And, and then that's pretty much it. So once this is all set up, uh, you're going to click Next. Um, and then you want to create your Linux username and password. So I'm just going to do that real quick. Um, and I'm just going to click Next here. Uh, and then this is where you're going to decide uh, what your virtual machine name is and where you want it to install. OK, so when you want to choose your location, I'm actually going to change mine to uh, a folder I created in my uh, storage drive called Ubuntu. And I'm just going to go there. And then that's where your uh, all your information and your setup files on your virtual machine are going to save to. So they'll save to some other drive that is in your computer. Um, so that's that. I just designated the location I want to save to, and then I click Next. Um, and then here we go. Is This is where we're going to uh, dedicate some hard drive space to the virtual machine. Um, I'll set up 10 gigabytes. I'm not going to be using this one too, too much, so I don't think any more than 10 gigabytes will be needed. Maybe even I'll bump it down to like uh, 8 gigabytes. How about that? Um, and then this option right here, I'm not entirely sure what it does to be honest. Uh, I just left it as split virtual machine in, or split virtual disk into multiple files. Not really sure what it means. Um, it says it makes it easier to move, um, but I'm not really sure. Uh, so that's that. I'm gonna click next, and then uh, here is where it will show you all the hardware that's going to be dedicated to your virtual machine. So if you want to click customize hardware, you can come in here, go to memory, and change your memory, change the amount of RAM you want to have. Um, so 
I'm just going to stick with one gig here if you want to bump it up to two or four. Uh, that's perfectly fine if you're going to do some more demanding stuff on your virtual machine. Um, but one gig is fine for Linux. I don't think it's any. I don't think anything else is necessary really. Um, if you want to set number of processor cores, you can do as many as you want. Um, and then a couple other things here: just network adapter, USB controller, um, and you can enable or disable any of these things. I'm just going to leave it as it is. I'm going to click finish, and it will create and power on my virtual machine. Um, but that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, that is how you set up your Ubuntu Linux virtual machine. Uh, you can do this with any ISO, remember. You can go Mac OS X, or if you want to do like another version of Windows on your computer. Um, you can do any of those operating systems. All you have to do is just get an ISO file and basically follow the same process I did. Um, but that's pretty much it for setting up a virtual machine. Really, really simple. Um, and it's kind of cool to have a separate environment on your computer. I think it's pretty cool. Um, so let me know what you guys thought. Uh, if you have any questions, um, leave them down below or comments or anything like that. Um, and I guess that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.